So I've been saying that I was going to talk about the one fight, the baseball fight that I was ever in. You know, you see on TV all the time. Not all the time, because, you know, they're making it more was the fight all the time. But you'll see Major League Baseball, and you'll see the benches clear. I was in one of those altercations, not in the Major Leagues, but in college. One time we had a bench clearing brawl. One time. And I was going to tell you about that. I've been saying that for, uh, I mentioned it in two or three videos. Anyway, so I'm going to tell you from my perspective what it looked like. And then I will tell you what actually happened, what I found out after the fact. So we were in the third base dugout because we're the home team, right? And so if you look out, and these are actual dugouts into the ground. So if you look out, you can see the second baseman of the other team. You can see the first baseman. You can see the right fielder. Um, you really can't see the shortstop too well. You might can see him. Uh, the pitcher, catcher, that's all we can see. So we're all sitting on the bench there because we're up to bat and looking out. And here's how it goes. Guy throws the pitch. And again, this is from my perspective. Guy throws the pitch. I noticed that the guy batting doesn't really look at the pitch he doesn't swing he's looking like this he's looking out to left field when the pitch is thrown he didn't even think about swinging and i remember thinking that's that's kind of odd he wasn't even looking and then as soon as the pitch hits the catcher's glove i see the second baseman on their team the first baseman and the pitcher all drop their gloves they throw their gloves down and they run to left field now if you have played baseball you know that this is not something that is typical, right? Typically, normally, no, generally speaking, in the middle of an inning, you don't see the right fielder, the second baseman, the first baseman, and the pitcher sprint to left field while the inning is going on. That's not something that typically happens. But they're all, we see them, I see them drop their gloves, and they all sprint to left field. And everybody sitting on the bench takes a minute to kind of process this. What, what? What? What are they doing? And so we all get up. Get up and get up to the top step there. There is a... There, at that point, there are two people rolling around on the ground in left field. On the ground. One from their team, one from our team. And so we're all like, holy crap. Okay. And so then, that's when their bench... Everybody from their bench, everybody from our bench, we all start sprinting out there to the left field foul line because that's where the fight has begun, at the left field foul line. Not on the pitcher's mound, not at home plate. It has begun on the left field foul line by the bullpen. So we all go running down there, and we see these two dudes hitting each other, actually hitting each other on the foul line, rolling around, uh, one of them is the relief pitcher that we had warming up at that time. Um, and the student assistant coach is kind of like, get back, get back. But he's not really doing anything. But, uh, anyway, so we all go running out there. And I want, uh, there's something that really, uh, that stuck in my mind is our head coach, the guy who was batting, who looked down there, uh, and didn't swing at the pitch. He is doing a beeline. He is like, mm, he is going. He is sprinting toward left field. And our coach, our head coach, comes out of the dugout, grabs him, and spears him. If you watch wrestling back in the day, he did a spear on him, and it didn't get him on the ground because our coach was like five foot eight, and this guy that he was hitting was six three. Anyway, so he hits him, he throws him back up against the fence and says, No, 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 get it up, you cannot go down there, no, no, no. And he's holding him with all his might. And then he says, Hey, you, another big person on the team, come here and hold him. And then he starts sprinting down there. And by that time, I'm already down there at the fight that's actually going on. And by this time, both benches, everybody is out there. So I get in there and somebody like elbows me. And I'm like, Dang. And so I go in there and I start, I pull that dude and threw him back a little bit. And 
you get in there and by this point it's kind of uh gotten to the point where everybody's pulled off the people who are actually started fighting our relief pitcher and their left fielder are the ones who started fighting so they both pull them away and they are i mean it's not one of those where it's like hold me back bro hold me back bro no these two guys are trying their best to get at each other but there are enough people to actually hold them back and so they pull them away put them away that now the umpires are out there finally so uh everybody gets separated and um they end up ejecting they end up ejecting the left fielder they end up ejecting our relief pitcher who start uh, who was starting fighting with him so when the uh, when their left fielder ran toward the bullpen our relief pitcher who was coming in they met at the foul line so those two were the ones who started fighting so both of those are ejected immediately then they the umpires get together and they're over there talking about who else they need to eject um they end up coming up with one other person to eject and i cannot remember i want to say that it was uh the first guy out of our dugout who got down there and they eject they ejected two from their team they ejected two from our team so i mean we're pumped up i mean we're our hearts racing now it's backed off we're done and that was the only time I've been in a brawl like that. And if that guy had not have pushed me like that, I wouldn't have thrown him back. But I got, I really wasn't in the fight, but that's what happened. You know what it looks like when you see the bench is clear. Okay. So that had happened. Now, I'm going to give you the backstory of how it happened. We had sent down... A pitcher to get warmed up because one of our pitchers were thinking well maybe he'll go back in in the next inning but we may need somebody to come in in that next inning because we're at bat at the time and so he's down there throwing to a catcher backup catcher um, but the student assistant coach is down there and they are talking crap I find this out later from them this is what I found out later from them uh, the guy who's warming up it's just talking crap to the guy in left field. And our bullpen is not on the field, but it's right beside left field. So they're going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And I hear this from the student assistant coach later on. Here's what had happened. He had finished warming up. He was good. And so they were standing there with their arms on the fence. You know, he'd finished pitching. He'd finished warming up. He's ready to go. And um, some, the, the guy in left field for them had said something to him. And I don't remember what it was. But um, whatever he said kind of made our guy upset. And so he said, no. Nah. And so they just start, essentially, they just start cursing each other out. No, nah, F you. F you, man. You're a, you know, how it goes. Going back and forth. Going back and forth. And they do this for a while, maybe a minute, according to what I've heard. I wasn't down there, but that's what they told me. And then what started the actual fight was when our guy, our relief pitcher, said, Man, you ain't going to do nothing. Come over here and do something. And the guy in left field, he's, he's actively playing left field right now. The game is going on. He's actively playing left field. He says, I can't. You know I can't. I... And our guy says, call timeout and come over here then. The dude in left field says, timeout. The umpire turns around, acknowledges the timeout. He says, timeout. And that guy sprints toward start sprinting toward our bullpen and the student assistant coach and the guy who's warming up the student assistant coach says he's coming over here man he's coming over here he's he's coming over here and so at that point 
to save face, the guy who's warming up, who's been talking all this crap, he's got to meet him. And so they meet at the foul line. They meet at the left field foul line, and they just start throwing blows on one another. And when, by the time I got out, they're still throwing blows on one another. And so that goes on, get everybody separated, and they are like throwing blows. There are two or three good shots that get put on both sides because our dude had a black eye. Their guy had a black eye. But finally... You know, after the, our coach had speared the batter into the uh, fence and everything had calmed down, um, after all that's over with, the umpire comes and says, because he had already ejected one from our team and one from their team, and then he ejected another one from their team, and the one that he ejected first was not the pitcher. And I don't remember who it was. It was somebody who was acting a fool out there during the fight, going a little bit over the top. Um, anyway, so the umpire comes over, and everybody's back to the dugout now. Nobody's down at the bullpen. The umpire comes over to our dugout and says, Coach, Coach, you got to get one out of here. We got to get another one. He's got to go. He's got to go. Talking about the relief pitcher. The relief pitcher who was actually engaged in the fight to begin with. And so our coach turns around and says, hey, name, he says his name. Hey, you, you're gone. You're gone. And they get, poor, I mean, poor guy. He says, coach, are you saying I'm off the team? And he said it kind of, he kind of whined. He, coach, am I off the team? No, you're out of the game. Get out of here. And so he was thrown out of the game, not off the team. He was thrown out of the game. And then the game goes back to um, normal, I guess, after that. Uh, but that was the only time that I was in an actual fight, like you see in the pros sometimes, or in college, or I was in college. But that's the only time that I was actually in one of those fights, and that's how it ended up working out. It was an experience that I will never forget.